So I've got a tiny, tiny um, charity shop haul here. Um, I just happened to go in. I might go back, as I said. Um, sometimes when I'm on my own or something, or I haven't got hobby, it's nice to have either hobby or my son because they've got the vehicle. If obviously I pick quite a few bits up, has when I'm on my own, I have to be careful. Obviously, carrying pieces but I could have a good rummage. So the first thing I've purchased is this box, um, like a post box. It was three pounds. Well, you can see it was three pounds from the works. Um, I paid one pound 50, which I didn't think was too bad. It's all sealed up. It's got like little envelopes here, and then you've got the back. Um, not sure if I'm keeping this myself or it'd be something that will be used at the community centre because they wanted um, a little um, box um, um, to put like comments in and things like that so I don't know if this will be large enough or not um, but I thought for £1.50 if not it'd be good for our granddaughter especially at Christmas time or whatever you know and um, play post office or whatever and it comes with some envelopes the next thing is this now at the moment i will keep it but whether i will um you know make a little gift with it and put sweets or something or treats in and as you can say it says a bubbling stinking oozing um gunge um full of horrible and what's that yucky slimy things but i thought this would be nice in the black and the green to keep up for halloween this was only 50 pence um yeah another mug <laughs> um i'm gonna have to get rid of some of my mugs but as i said this is more of a seasonal one I'm not sure if it was to do with slime or something else or it was part of a gift there's no um label on the bottom but i thought with the colors and i think and the writing that would be nice for halloween but as i said i can also make it into a gift and then i've got three items of clothing i've already tried them on and they all fit most of the clothing this is the drop off one that i went to um bernardo's and the clothing, most of the clothing, especially for adults, was all 20 pence. Yes, 20 pence each. So I've got three items here and um, all 20 pence each. I haven't got many skirts, but you see a theme. It's all blacks and greys. So I've got this um, sort of thin um, woolen slightly. Um, it's not too over thick, so it can be used any time of year. And um, atmosphere, which is that tesco's or is that primark i can't remember now um but yeah it fits gorgeous very comfortable so that's the first one um the next one that i've got is this gray skirt and what i like about them is they're not too long this is an atmosphere one as well um so that is in the gray and that's actually lined and then the last one is Pep and Co. Um, it doesn't look as though they've actually been worn. Again, all 20 pence. Um, exactly the same leggings um, that I'm wearing, Pep and Co. And you can tell the difference because look, <laughs> the difference in the um, fabric. Mine have been washed and washed and washed. So yeah funny enough it was on my shopping list anyway so i was really happy about those and i promised myself buying the couple of skirts as well um nice with um say either thick tights or whatever um that if i don't wear them by say the end of this year um then i will donate them back but for 20p each you can't grumble at that then the last item I have got is something for our granddaughter. And with jigsaws, especially if they're for our granddaughter, anything like games, jigsaws and everything, I do like to check that they are complete. Now, the box was pretty um, banged up. It was all sealed down, which is not a problem. But I love the picture. 
um, it's this um, sleepover floor puzzle. This was also 50 pence. Again, I would say a lot of stuff was um, could be quite expensive, quite pricey. But I do like to have a little bit of a rummage. And I think because the box was quite damaged, as you can see, um, this is one reason it was quite reasonable. And yes, I have made it to make sure it is okay. And it is in macular condition. Um, even though the box is damaged, that's not a problem. Because if I want to, I can take it out of the box. Because um, I've got a lot of containers and boxes with lids. And even cut this bit off if I wanted to. So I've got a picture and put it in another box. But yeah, I'm really pleased with that. So just a quick video, um, but I wanted to um, share these pieces before I wash the clothes and put everything away. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.